you can connect to GitHub using the Secure Shell Protocol, SSH, which provides a secure channel over an unsecured network. Using the SSH protocol, you can connect and authenticate to remote servers and services. With SSH keys, you can connect to GitHub without supplying your username and personal access token at each visit. When you set up SSH, you will need to generate a new SSH key and add it to the SSH agent. You must add the SSH key to your account on GitHub before you use the key to authenticate. Before you generate an SSH key, you can check to see if you have any existing SSH keys. Since, I don't have any old keys stored, I will move ahead with the new pair of SSH keys. Let's go to terminal. First step is to check whether we have .ssh folder exist in the root folder. We can simply do this by running ls-l tilde slash .ssh. This command will give you list of files inside the folder. As you can see, I don't have .ssh folder. Let's go to GitHub documentation page to review the steps to create a new SSH key. Copy the SSH key gen command and paste it in the terminal. Add 25519 represent algorithm which is a digital signature scheme. Don't forget to put your email. Hit enter. Put a passphrase. Retype it and hit enter. Start the SSH agent by running SSH agent space s command. One more point to note depending on your environment, you may need to use different command to start SSH agent. Let's open .ssh folder in Sublime Text Editor or any text editor. You will see two files. One file represents private key, and another file with .public extension represents public key. On OS X, the native shad client has a special argument to save the private keys passphrase in the OS X keychain. If you're on a pre-Sierra version of OS X, Running the shad command will be enough to add private key to agent and use passphrase from the keychain by default. On OS X Sierra and later, you also need to configure SSH to always use the keychain using sh config file. Now let's create config file inside .ssh folder. Now we will go to GitHub page and copy the host configuration and paste it in the config file. If you chose not to add a passphrase to your key, you should omit the useki chain line. Add your SSH private key to the agent and store your passphrase in the keychain. Run SSH add command to add private key to SSH agent. Put passphrase. Hit enter. Now copy the public key to clipboard. Run pb copy command. Now go to github.com. Go to settings. Click SSH and GPG keys. Click new SSH keys. Put some title. and paste copied public key from the clipboard. Now click on Add SSH Key. Confirm access by putting password. Now you can see SSH Key is now added and associated with the account. Finally, let's test the SSH connection with GitHub. Copy and paste test command and hit Enter. Type Yes. Here you go. Authentication is successful using SSH. Thanks for watching.